This Wang, three teenagers are in critical condition following a shooting in northwest Miami-Dade. Police tell us the teens were standing in the street around 7.30 last night when someone with a gun walked up to them. This was in Brownsville on northwest 51st Street near 22nd Avenue. A 14-year-old and two 15-year-old boys all shot and rushed to the hospital. You're asked to call police if you have any information. We turn now to the coronavirus pandemic. New Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava says she has tested positive for COVID-19. She tells us that she started experiencing symptoms on Sunday after returning home from a camping trip in the Everglades with her husband. She believes that's who she contracted the virus from because he is a doctor and was exposed by a patient last week. City of Miami police are investigating how a toddler fell out of the window of a Little Havana apartment building. This happened at a complex near the 1900 block of 8th Street. Investigators say a two-year-old girl fell from the fourth floor. Despite falling about 40 feet, the girl did not suffer any injuries, but paramedics took her to the hospital to get checked out. She ended up hitting some of the palm trees that you see behind me, which kind of helped guide her towards some shrubs that kind of helped break the fall. So she didn't end up on the pavement. She ended up in a soft, grassy area where the shrubs are. Investigators are still trying to figure out how the child ended up near that open window. A change worth hundreds of thousands of dollars coming to Zoo Miami, and it's thanks to Florida Power and Light. FPL put a $300,000 grant towards the Conversa uh, Conservation Action Center, a new interactive exhibit at Zoo Miami. It will introduce guests to, a concert, to conservation stories, both globally and locally. It will also include FPL's local conservation work with the American Crocodile. That's set to open in mid-January. Now, CBS4 weather. And we start off December with a chilly change. In fact, uh, so far this morning, temperatures have dropped into the 50s all across Broward, 58 degrees in Opelika, 60 in Miami, 59 in West Kendall, and even the Keys getting a bit of a chill this morning, 64 degrees in Marathon, pretty impressive. And those numbers uh, will continue to drop, especially by tonight, overnight into tomorrow morning. That's when the colder temperatures arrive in South Florida. It's all thanks to the front that went through Monday, and it's over the Bahamas. It'll continue to move slowly towards the south and east. It's starting to hit the brakes, and eventually that front's going to dissipate well to the south of us. High pressure and control across the south and southeast, driving in that cold air mass from the north. Quite the chilly blast, to say the least. It is also a windy day for us. Winds mainly out of the north today, then turning more out of the northeast uh, by tomorrow and then Thursday more out of the east and eventually winds are going to turn out of the southeast and that's by Friday because there's going to be this area of low pressure developing over the western Gulf of Mexico. This is the next system to bring us our next cold front as we close off the work week and head into the weekend. Let's talk about Wednesday night and Wednesday morning because in the morning that's when we hit those lows. It will be chillier than Tuesday morning with 40s pushing into Broward and inland Miami-Dade. Even the 50s expected for parts of the Upper Keys. Highs today, 69 degrees. Some of us may not even get out of the 60s. And it's going to be gusty at times. Uh, wind gusts up to 25 miles per hour. By tonight, still on the breezy side with clear skies. Overnight low for Miami, 49 degrees. Then tomorrow after a chilly start, pleasant in the afternoon with a high of 74. The normal high for this time of year is 80, and we'll get to that on Thursday as uh, the humidity increases a bit, especially Friday. Out ahead of that next cold front, it will probably bring us some thunderstorms late Friday, overnight Friday. It clears out into the weekend, and then we have another cool down for the weekend. Francis? Jennifer, thank you. That's our news update for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.